Today I'm going to show you how you can get information out of Gmail and across into Trello into a card so you never miss another important task that's stuck in your inbox and you can hopefully get to inbox zero and make sure you get all your tasks done using Trello. We're going to use a Gmail and Trello integration for this and it's really quick to set up. So let's get straight to it. So we got this email and it looks like it's come through as a support ticket, somebody's struggling with an app. So how can we get this from our Gmail inbox through to our Trello board where our team can keep track of it and work on it and resolve the issue for the customer? So it's pretty easy because there's a handy integration between Gmail and Trello. And to enable this, all we need to do is head over to this section here or you can Google for uh, Gmail add-ons. If you can't see this panel on the right hand side, you just need to make just look for this little arrow and it'll open up the side panel. Then we click on get add-ons and we can find the Trello one. If you can't see it, just search for it at the top there. And let's click on this. And now we can install it. We've got a few permissions we need to grant. And there we go, we are installed. And we can see Trello has been installed on the right hand side. And now we've got this email. Um, anytime you open up a new email, you can click on this button and then it will open up this other panel. Uh, first of all, obviously, we just have to log in to Trello. Again, another permission to give, uh, this time on the Trello side. And there we go. Now we have this new window where we can see our email as well as select some options on the Trello side. So in this case, we're going to pick which board we want to add this to. So I'll just find the correct board here. And then you can also select which list you want this to be added into. So we'll leave it as to do. The name has taken directly from the subject line and the description is the body of the email. It's really nice that you can actually edit this from here. So if you want to add a little bit more information or make it more obvious what this is about, then um, we can do that. So let's say we can rename that to support ticket, just so it's really obvious for the team what this is about. And we can even set a due date. So let's just say due tomorrow. We'll then press add. And now this has been added to our Trello board. So there we have it. We have our support ticket added to Trello. It's in the correct list and we've got all the information we need from the customer. You can start to work on this with your team. So you could add people to the card, tagging them, getting their, their attention, that kind of thing. And once you've resolved the problem, then you can easily jump back into, into Gmail and reply to the customer. So that brings me up to one of the limitations of this. Obviously, this is just a one-way integration, so you can only send emails from Gmail to Trello. Uh, you can't reply from within Trello itself. Uh, though there are a few power-ups available that will allow you to do that as well, but they're a little bit more complicated, so I'll probably do a video about those in the future. If you are interested in that two-way email integration, then let me know in the comments below, and then I'll prioritize that as a video to do next. So there you go, hope you found that helpful. If you enjoyed this, then as always, please give us a like on the videos and do subscribe if you want more tips, especially around email and Trello, because as I said, there might well be some more coming out soon. All right, thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you next time.